Hi folks, I'm here from Dublin, our Communities Against Water Charges, Dublin North East. We're all here today because we see what has happened as a direct attack on our constitution. And it is a direct attack on our constitution. It's a direct attack on all of us and our ability to protest. The government are going out of their way to quieten us to send us back into our homes. They are determined to establish Irish water. They are determined to sell off all the assets belonging to the people of this country. Why? For money and greed. Do you think Kenny cares about any of you? He cares about 18%, that's all he needs. Because they are the establishment, they are the elites, they are the ones that come out and vote. He plays lip service to the working people. I want everyone here to make sure you're registered to vote. I don't care who you vote for. But make sure you use that power, just as you're using your power now, to send him a big message. Wrestle love! Now I want to look, I want you all to look at the person to the right of you. And I want you to look at the person to the left of you. And you will see that they are ordinary people. Well, let me tell you about some of the people that are in the prison today. Damien O'Neill is a husband, a loving father, and a worker. Damien takes his 80-year-old aunt shopping every Friday because there's no one else to take her shopping. That's how good he is. In the mornings when we would stand protest on the corners from 7 o'clock in the morning, the freezing cold, Damien would drive around because he knew that most of us were women to check that we were safe. And he would drive around the whole of Dublin North East to make sure we were safe. Okay? That's the kind of man Damien is. Derek? Derek is a single father who works who pays for the upkeep of his son, who takes his son to all the wonderful places on the weekend that fathers normally take their sons, and he cares about his future. He too is just a normal person. Then we come to Ollie. Ollie too is a father, and has a loving partner, is a very a man of not many words, but stands for his principles. Then we have McBatty, a pensioner, a father, a great-grandfather, and a grandfather who is also very principled. So when you look to the left and the right of you, you see that it's, they're representative of all of you. We have Bernie Hughes, a mother, and she's going to be a, a grandmother. We have her as a housewife, as an activist, working in our community for the betterment of our community. And that's all we've been trying to do. We've been trying to say that we don't want these water meters because it's all about privatization, people, let me tell you. Make no mistake. That's what it's about. This is about selling off our resources. And as Paul just mentioned, Shell Oil, or the gas off Shell, that's coming in in the next few weeks. Guess how much the Irish people are going to benefit from that? Nothing. Why? Because a deal was struck for building the infrastructure, they would write their tax off against it. So we actually benefit nothing. There is around the world today a big demand to privatise water. Because water is the new oil. The clothes that you're wearing, the food that you're eating, the phone that you're holding, the bodies that we're actually here with are made of water. Water is used for everything. Once they control that resource, they control us. And we need to stand together and we need to say no. This has to end. We're not for sale. And neither are our rights. <laughs> of you, all of you and more, speak to your friends, your neighbours, your family, get them to join together and march on the 21st. They told us this movement is dead. Is it dead? No! Is it dying? No! Are we going to get stronger? Yes! Are we going to dare to stand up to them? Are we going to dare to tell them no? Yes! Because who dares win them? What are we going to do? Yes! Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Our next speaker is Claire Daly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 13 years ago, I was behind those gates with Bernie Hughes. And I can tell you that she can hear that we are here. So say hello to Bernie.
today. And that is the basis of our struggle, a struggle for a fairer and better world. And that ordinary people would end up behind those walls for their part in that struggle is an absolute disgrace and shame on those who stand over it. But let's be clear, the reason why they are there is a symptom of the state's weakness, not of its strength. They are afraid of us. The future of our water supply is a big prize. Those who want to profit from it will fight hard. They own the media, they control the Gardaí, but we represent the hearts and minds of ordinary people who are implacably opposed to this hate tax. And that is an unstoppable force if we organize it correctly. Now we have them on the run, and now is not the time to take our eye off the ball. The jailings and the arrests are a sign of utter desperation, an attempt to split the movement and to frighten the middle ground. Well, we are here to say they will not succeed. And I have a question for the Gardaí who are here today. I want you to ask yourselves, which side are you on, boys? Are you, are you prepared to continue to be the private security guards and boot boys of Irish water? Where are the calls from your representative organizations to serve your communities, not to coerce them, because you will be the ones who will be isolated, not us. The best response we can give to the state's repression is to come out in bigger numbers than ever before, in a mass demonstration of peaceful, peaceful people power on March 21st. I think we can all identify the history of our campaign through the words of Mahatma Gandhi when he said, first they ignore you, well they've tried that one. Then they laugh at you, well they've tried that one too. Then they fight you, that's what they're trying to do now. And then you win! We are entering the last stage of this battle. Don't take your eye off the ball. Go back to your areas and build all out on March 21st.